Happy September 14th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. I have been out with both COVID and the flu. I'm not 100%, but I think I'm up for rolling some dice. My plan today is to do several calendar pages to catch up, and I think I'll skip the emotional quest this week for the sake of time and energy. So, without further ado, when last we played back on September 10th, Ivy scaled the spire of Crown Spire Castle in pursuit of King Rathex, who has devoured the elements of life, stolen the spirit of the Tree of Seasons, and abducted the Queen. Ivy's strength and athleticism made short work of the daunting task. I believe we are closing in on Rathex, and that is where we left things. So let's see what adventures are on the calendar for us today. As you close in on the centipede, it signals its minions to engage you. Suddenly, a swarm of fierce flying insects swoops down, ambushing you while you ascend the wall. We've got four things we're going to fight here. Um, attack damage, strength, and defense. We've got a sh strength roll. That's unusual. Um, make some room here. We have our boon die. Uh, we have to try to remember. What, what's the deal with the strength roll? If your strength is less... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Fighting while holding onto the wall will make it difficult to defend yourself from attacks. If your strength roll is left less than the paw symbol, you are weakened to this round. Reroll your defense. Take the new result only if it's less than your first defense roll. So if we fail our strength roll, our defense is rolled with disadvantage if we want to use those terms. So here we go. Uh, first enemy, the insect swiftly descends, brandishing a dagger, aiming to strike you with a rapid thrusting attack. He's got a defense of 17, which is a lot. But our attack is plus 8, we got 11 plus 8 is 19, we hit him. We are hoping to do 17 points of damage. We do 2d12 plus 2. 17 health, that's a lot. 9 plus... 2 is 11. Can we get 6 more points of damage? We have a number of party members and we have Solar Flare. Let's go... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use our party members. Uh, Vinny, Brindle, and Kit. Oh, I'm using my marker. How much damage do we need? Uh, we've got 9. Um, plus 2 is 11. We want 6 more points of damage. Here we go. Um, we've got Vinny. Oh, Vinny's out of the running because he's he's uh, we've he's we've used him up. <laughs> he's exhausted until he can rest. So we've got Brindle and Kit, and they have the same chance. They both need a club greater than or equal to six. <clears throat> Let's try Brindle first. Brindle, can you get us a club greater than or equal to six? No. And I. Think, I don't think an ace counts as a face card. I can't remember. Uh, Kit, how about you? Nope. Also not. Uh, I'll look that up later. So, um, Brindle and Kit. We have our we have our solar flare. Do we use it right away? Yeah, I think so. So, Ivy solar flare. Where is it? Use one surge, add d4 to a single damage roll. I mean, six points. We'd have to use at least two solar flares. <clears throat> um, we'd have to use at least two solar flares. Maybe all three, and we still might not get it. So, I think we'll just say we don't... We, we're going to have to defend against this guy. All right. He's got, a def he's got an attack of 18, but we need to do this strength roll first. Oh, we have our boon die, too. Eh. Six is too much. I think we're just going to say we didn't do it. So, here we go. We may we need a strength roll. Your strength roll is less than the paw. So we need 13 or better. 17, we get it. So, 
We can just do our defense roll. An attack of 18, that's crazy. Five plus 10 is 15. We need three more points of defense. We have four warding ointments. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use a warding ointment. We need four, I think we said. And Ivy gets a plus one when she uses a potion or any anything that requires a die roll like that, I think. I forget the wording exactly. Oh, this is not a roll. Add plus two to defense. Oh, these aren't so great. Well, we can use two of them. Can we use two of them? What else do we have? Luminous Shield. Um, let's try the Luminous Shield. And if that's not enough on its own, we'll use a Warding Ointment. Luminous Shield. Add D4 to a single defense roll. Okay. Here we go. Luminous Shield. Three. All right. We need one more point. So we use a Warding Ointment. Yep. And we defend against that guy's attack. Just got to mark this down. Gosh, as simple as combat is in this game, I feel like there's a lot of flipping back and forth in um, bookkeeping. Okay. That guy's done. We marked off our warding ointment. We need to mark off one surge that we used for our luminous shield. And now uh, we take partial damage, two points of damage. So we're down to 19. And we still have three insects left. This is a little worrisome. Enemy two, the insect flies by. Its spear aimed at you. It attempts to swipe at your side with a forceful horizontal movement. Okay. Uh, we want to beat his defense of 16 and we don't even come close so we now need to make our this strength check we need a 13 or better and we fail that completely so now we're going to do our defense roll and we're going to roll 20 19 and if this is less than that we take the less so 8 8 plus 10 is 18 we actually defend <laughs> against this guy and we take one point of damage. Okay, so we're getting beat up a little bit by these guys. Two left. The insect flies in formation using its sharp claws to scratch and claw at you from various angles, trying to wear you down. He's got a defense of 18. We got a 16 plus our attack of 8 is easily hits him. We just need to do 12 points of damage to this guy. And we get 16. We take out enemy 3. Finally, we beat one of these guys. Okay, fourth enemy. An insect armed with multiple daggers dives towards you in a frenzy, unleashing a barrage of slashing attacks from all directions. Okay, he's got a defense of 15. We get an 8. Plus 8 attack is 16. We hit him. We're hoping to do 14 points of damage. And we get it. That's 18, so we take out enemy number 4. Just like that. If you did not kill all the insects, they fly away as you duck into a window for a brief moment of shelter. If you killed two enemies, collect D4 plus 1 amber. So we get 3. 3 amber, and we are up to 58. Okay, that was Wednesday, and we are... We have only begun catching up, so let's see what happens Thursday. As you resume your ascent, you are met with the sight of Rathex positioned atop the spire. He showers you with a corrosive barrage of acid as you continue your climb. We're going to do three things in order. Dodge the acid, dodge the acid, and finally dodge the acid. <laughs> um... Reminder, dang, danger sense on all these. They are all dexterity checks. We get to replenish our surge at the end of that previous page. And let's see here. The sudden attack by Rathex catches you off guard, and you're faced with a deadly barrage of corrosive acid. One, dodge the acid. Move this out of the way. If I can pick it up, there we go. 
D20 plus dexterity. <laughs> oh, that's not a 20 sided die. Here we go. <clears throat> 20, excellent. We would get a boon die, but we already have one, so that's the best result. You navigate the acid barrage with precision, managing to avoid any direct hits. Your swift movements keep you relatively unscathed, boosting your confidence as you press on. Gain a plus two bonus to dodge the acid number two below. I have a little marker somewhere that's supposed to help me remember these random bonuses. <clears throat> there we go. Plus two... All right, step two, dodge the acid. Roll d20. <laughs> okay, that's a fail, even with any of our bonuses. Uh, the barrage of acid is unrelenting. Reduce your health by two. We're down to six. You know what? We're going to need to use a, some health potions or healing light or something. Maybe at the end of this page. We're down to 16 from 27. Um, okay, step three, dodge the acid. <clears throat> D20, 15, plus dexterity is 18. Uh, we don't get that bonus, um, but that's the best result. You move with precision and swiftness, avoiding the acid entirely. All right, so we're hanging on to the wall here. We've uh, defended ourselves against a few insects, and now we are being blasted with acid. Uh, we took, we're down to 16 health from 27. What are our options here? I think we have a single health potion. The rule, the rule is healing potions can only be used at the beginning or end of a page. So they have the most restrictions on their use. So I'm going to go ahead and use a health potion. It restores D4 health. And uh, Ivy gets a plus one on this roll. So she gets... 3 plus 1 is 4. She has a passive ability called Solar Infusion that gives her that plus 1. So that gets us up to 20. And I, I think I'm anticipating a big battle with Rafex coming up. So I'm inclined to do a little more healing. Healing Light. Twice per rest restore d4 health do we have any other way we do have ivan let's try ivan ivan can maybe give us some health if we draw the right card ivan if we get a heart greater than or equal to nine ivan will heal us by one and we get it <laughs> good job ivan and it's not a face card so hey Ivan, uh, Ivan carefully applies a uh, band-aid to a uh, scratch on Ivy's wing <laughs> while well, she's hanging on. So that takes us to 21. And I think, we'll, I think we'll go ahead and do a healing light just because twice per rest restore D4 health. It's not a lot. Oh, four. That's a great roll. All right. We are up to 25. And so I think we'll save the other healing light. <clears throat> and that was Thursday. Okay, do we have it in us to do another one? Let's do it. Friday. Oh, exploration. Okay. Re-entering the castle spire, you can swiftly ascend to the balcony above using the nearby staircase. Though you'll need to navigate through the turmoil of the ongoing assault. Begin at the X, navigate around the map, visit each numbered area along your path, explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. The X is over to the west, <clears throat> and it looks like we're trying to get to five, those stairs. So I guess we'll go uh, two, one, six, four, three, five. If I can remember what I just said. Two, two, well, here we go. Area two. Chunks of the ceiling and walls are collapsing. Dodge falling debris. Roll d20 plus dexterity. Remind your danger sense. Uh, here we go. Twelve plus three dexterity is fifteen plus danger sense. I, Ivy does have that, so that's seventeen, and that's the best result. You dodge the falling debris and continue on your way. All right, area one. Uh, Ivy just can't resist exploring, even when the fate of the world is <laughs> in the balance. 
I don't even know what I rolled for here. I just, it's going to be a constitution roll, and we're going to fail it. Area 1, the area is thick with smoke and flames. Search for survivors. And that's our constitution roll. <clears throat> Reminder, investigator. We are not an investigator. Brindle is. 6 plus 2 constitution is 8. We would need f 6 more points, and even, even if Brindle comes through, that's not going to be enough. So, <clears throat> you, um, this is the worst result. You avoid the flames, but the smoke inhalation gets to you. Reduce your health by 1. So that takes us down to 24. And then we'll, we'll pop into this boardroom here. Area 6. The doors are locked. Roll d20 plus dexterity. Reminder, locksmith. 2. That's not... Okay, you are unable to get past the lock. All right, we're going to backtrack up to area 4. Some floors are weakened and collapsing. Jump over them. Roll d20 plus dexterity. Reminder, athlete. Ivy is an athlete. 19. That's going to be the best result. Uh, area 4. You jump clear of the hole in the collapsing floor. Area 3. Some hallways are blocked by fallen pillars and debris. Roll d20 plus strength. Reminder, athlete. That is us. Oh, boy. 3. Plus three is six, plus athlete is eight, um, but Ivy does have royal might. Uh, twice per page, re-roll any strength roll, so we're going to re-roll that. Healing light is down. There's one use of royal, royal might. We get another one, If and we're going to use it, because <laughs> that was a one. There we go. So there's both our royal mights uh, gone, but that 16 now gets us. The best result here in Area 3. You get leverage and move a large stone statue out of the way. You can now proceed. All right, Area 5. The staircase is unstable and falling apart. You may stop now or continue to explore and return here later. Ascend with caution. We're done exploring. We've been everywhere, so we're going to make our dexterity roll to explore with caution. 7 plus 3 is 10. We'd need four more points. Um, we don't... Uh, Disco can give us one. And we have this boon die, but... Uh, that's going to be rough. So I think we'll just take it. You stumble and slip down the stairs several times as you make your way up. Reduce your health by one. So we're down to 23 health at the end of Friday, September 13th. And that brings us to today. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. You exit the door onto the top balcony and find Rathex standing over Queen Enid. He is also holding the hourglass containing the spirit of the Tree of Seasons. The insect begins to laugh. Okay, we're going to do, we have two things to do here, and we have some choices in each, each of those things. You know what I haven't been doing is looking for hidden icons. Should we do that before we... So, here's the 11th. Um, I don't see anything there. I don't see anything on the 12th. Um... Here's the 13th. And looking quickly, I don't see anything there either. Wait a minute. No. Okay. And I'm uh, not seeing anything here either, although I see Enid laying there. Okay, we have uh, first, we can either focus on the Queen's safety or focus on fighting Rathex. I think we need to save the Queen. Let's focus on the queen's safety. Oh, hold on. Rathex has a little monologue here first. You? Ah, how amusing it is to finally meet the thorn in my side. I should have squashed you in the tunnel when I had the chance that day. But fate seems to have its own designs, as you've unwill unwittingly handed me the elements of life, just as I was told you would. Now... Witness as I absorb the very essence of this tree, bestowing upon me a power the world has never known. 
How fitting it is that your demise will serve as the prelude to my triumphant ascent. Okay, and we said we're going to focus on the queen's safety. Your priority is to ensure the queen remains safe. Write down focus on the queen somewhere for future use. All right. We can probably get rid of this other key phrase, insect activity. I think we use that. Well, it's not erasing. So that'll stay for now. Focus on queen. Uh, yep. Okay. Now, step two, we have four choices here. Is that right? We can either distract the insect or analyze his weakness, or threaten the insect, or be cautious of our surroundings. <clears throat> they are charisma, intellect, strength, and wisdom roles. And the strength role is intimidating, and that is Ivy. She's so... Oh, and we get our strength, our royal might checks back, because we get to use those twice per page. We use those on the last page. So... I think Ivy's going to intimidate this guy. So here we go. We need, uh, let's see, to C, threaten the insect. D20 plus strength, 14, plus 3 is 17, plus 2 intimidating is 19. That is the best result. Your imposing presence and commanding words resonate with authority, causing Rathex to momentarily falter in his demeanor. Gain a plus two bonus to all damage rolls on the next page. Excellent. That will hopefully remind us. All right, we're going into battle <laughs> tomorrow with this guy. This is the big bad, I think, of the, of the quest. Um, we're down to 23 health. I was going to write something down, and now it escapes me, but... Okay. Um, oh, plus two damage. That's what I'm going to write down. Let's clean this up a little bit. 23 health. And... Plus two damage. On um, September 16th. Okay. Oh, and it's, this is Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> so, we can do the Sunday lottery. Why don't we? <laughs> Up here on top of the tower, about to um, face off against King Rathex. We'll use our cards of nonsensicalness. And I need my four-sided die. Five. A mean little hummingbird. <laughs> These fellows are pretty fond of us. Wearing a tiara. And a silk sash with the words Sunday loiter, uh, Lottery embroidered in gold. Tunnels in <laughs> on a mole machine. He's got a box with a slot in it. We can put two amber in the box, which we do. We open it up, and inside are four more amber. We've just won four amber. And uh, we give... Uh, it takes us to 62. We give Rathex and the Queen a chance to play. <laughs> and... Uh, and then everybody gets back in their places, ready for tomorrow. Because that, my friends, is September 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. So, we shall say goodbye for now and visit uh, Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Or on Monday, I guess. In any case, whenever we do, I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>